What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jay, retired U.S. Army Green Beret. The intent behind this channel is to share my knowledge and wisdom with the next generation of Special Forces soldiers. So if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to help me reach that goal. Guys, today I want to speak to you guys about top four tips that's going to help you get through Special Forces assessment and selection. All right? Before we jump into those tips, if you're interested in going to Special Forces assessment and selection, Make sure you check out GreenBerryChronicles.com where I have a variety of different programs that's going to help you get there to include mentorship, prep courses, etc. GreenBerryChronicles.com. The link will also be in the description box below. All right. With all that said, guys, number one tip to help you get through Special Forces Assessment and Selection is going to be mindset. Guys, it's not enough to want to be a special forces green beret because you want to look cool it's not enough to go because you want to get chicks all right it's not enough to go so you can get out and go write books and be on tv shows and all that jazz that's not gonna cut it you have to dig deep to figure out why it is that you are willing to go put your life on the line at the very very tip of the spear to become a green beret Right, because I want you guys to understand that becoming a green beret and wearing that green hat and that nut the only sexy part about it is what you see on the internet. All right, I would say the job is approximately 90% hard shit and about 10% sexy shit. All right, there's nothing sexy about being on an operation for seven days at a time, you know, what I mean, living out of a freaking backpack, not brushing your teeth not freaking showering, like shitting in a hole next to your buddy, you know, sleeping in the rain, being in 100 plus degree weather. Guys, there's nothing sexy about it, right? There's nothing sexy about getting shot at, you know, for hours on end and watching your buddies die to you. There's nothing sexy about that at all, right? So as you're thinking about making a decision to go, those are the type of things that you need to work thinking about because that's what the job is. Majority of the job sucks. Selection sucks. The Q course sucks. Right, so whatever reason you want to go into special operation needs to be stronger enough to propel you past that suck fest that you're gonna face. When your buddy's dead laying next to you, whatever that reason is, needs to propel you past that specific event so you can keep pushing forward and fighting for the other guys that are next to you. Right, so again, guys, mindset and the reason why you want to go to special forces that's number one. Guys, tip number two that's going to help you crush Special Forces assessment and selection is going to be, you got to be in good shape, right? Now, when you think about being in good shape, I'm not talking about looking like me, right? I'm not talking about having the broad shoulders and the freaking biceps and triceps and the six, that's not what I'm talking about. Although that shit looks nice, it's not going to get you through selection, all right? Guys, if I went to selection looking like I'm looking now, I would fail probably within the first four days. Selection shape is different than, you know, walking around shape, right? Or looking good shape or beach shape. It's completely different, all right? When I say be in shape, I'm talking about push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, run, ruck, all right? If I had to do it all over again, guys, getting ready for selection, that's what I would focus on. I wouldn't be in the gym lifting heavy shit. Like, I wouldn't do any of that. I would focus on what I know I'm going to get tested on at selection. So as you get ready to go down that path and embark on that journey, again, make sure you're in the best shape of your life as it relates to cardio, calisthenics, so you can handle all the different things that's gonna get thrown at you at Special Forces Assessment and Selection. Guys, moving on to number three. As it relates to tips that's gonna help you succeed at Special Forces Assessment and Selection. And that is gonna be making sure you take care of your feet. Guys, your feet is like the tires on a car. Without those tires, that car can be a Ferrari, it can be a Lamborghini, it can be a G-Wagon. It's not going anywhere, right? That's the same concept as it relates to your feet. If you don't know how to take care of your feet at selection, guys, you can be in the best shape of your life. You can be able to freaking run four minute miles and ruck for days, but if you got blisters, and the sole of your feet is falling out, your selection dreams are over, all right? So make sure you take care of your feet, and if you don't know how to do so, guys, again, greenbreakchronicles.com, 
go over there, uh, sign up for the prep courses and Discord access, and I will teach you how to do all of that before you get to selection, right? Last but not least, guys, again, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, right? Last but not least, guys, tip number four that's going to help you succeed at Special Forces Assessment and Selection is going to be remaining flexible, being flexible, right? Flex left, flex right, whatever. Guys, once you get the selection, it's going to be unorthodox. It's going to be unlike anything you've ever experienced before. You're going to be on a schedule that is dictated by the cadres. There's going to be a board out there. At any given time, they're going to go out there and they're going to write down the information that they want you to follow. Right? A lot of guys can't deal with that. They are so structured, especially coming from Big Army, that they know at 6.30, I'm PTing. At 6.45, I'm going to go take a shit. At 11 o'clock, I'm going to shave my balls. Like Everything is so structured to where when they get the selection and they're faced with the unknown, they fall apart. Right? They don't know what to do with themselves. i tell you what you should be doing speaking to your peers getting to know them getting ready for whatever that event is but keep your brain occupied or else it's gonna run wild and end up causing you in the long run all right guys those are the top four tips i have for you that's gonna help you crush special forces assessment and selection if i missed anything in the comment section below guys make sure you write it down there in case it's of use to somebody else all right appreciate you guys tuning in until next time take care of yourselves